Callie, this demolition number was painted on the side of this house just this month, 12 months after the flood destroyed the inside of their home. And it was just the first step towards getting the family living in this camper back on track towards rebuilding their home. Living at the same address, still far from being home. And never did we think in the beginning that it was damaged beyond repair. You can see how stairwell leans in now. A family of seven with three children under the age of nine live in this camper. It just feels like it was yesterday. Opening the upstairs windows to this the morning of June 23rd, Jaretta was just grateful her home didn't collapse with her husband, children, and grandchildren asleep on the top floor. Scary. We were praying that the boats would get here before the water came in. I prayed all night long. Uh, I said, Lord, I don't care what you do with me and Steve. We've had a good life. Save my babies. The water rose 10 and a half feet on the outside of her house. So close to this window, Jaretta says she could reach out and touch it. And downstairs, eight and a half feet of water covered what used to be her living room and the kitchen where she and her family ate dinner together every night. Now mealtime is a bit different. Usually outside with everything cooked on the grill. With the routine down, the past year to Jaretta feels like one long day. It seems like every corner you turn and it seems like, you know, things are looking up. It's another setback. It was seven months after the flood when she finally received a call from the long-term recovery committee, but it wasn't the call she had been waiting on. It was an apology that we have been overlooked. That's hard for me to fathom. Still can't wrap my mind around it. With the help of a caseworker from the voluntary organization Active in Disasters, also known as VOAD, Jaretta was finally able to secure the funding to rebuild, but her home is one of 236 homes in the state waiting to be demolished. So I tell myself I'm going to feel differently once I don't have to look at this every day. Just, just for it to, you know, to not be here as a constant reminder. So she waits a little longer. It starts to rain hard now. You can't hear the TV for the pounding of the rain. And there's times that I, I want to go lay down and go to sleep, but there's no way you can. Taking her back to that day last summer. It's a terrifying feeling. It feels like it's that same day over again. She wonders how much longer the camper will last her family. Things have already stopped working. The hot water tank and air conditioner are unreliable, sometimes breaking down for weeks at a time. And here we are, we're in June, and we're like four and a half months from winter coming right back at us. When they'll have to wear heavy layers to keep warm. There's no way that this thing will hold up another winter staying in it. Still, these conditions don't seem to fade her grandchildren having a home is what they miss most. Yeah. Wrestling. Yeah. And that bed and the bed and pillow fighting. The only thing I'm gonna miss is the <clears throat> living in here and me and him having fun.